Street Fighter 6 is slated to drop on June 2nd, and while Capcom's fighting game department has most definitely not had the best track record in terms of modern releases, we're happy to report that we're optimistic, not even cautiously so, that the upcoming entry will break this trend and hit the ground running with a ton of positive momentum. There are some reasons for this, and we've noticed that Capcom seems to have been actively learning from previous mistakes and going out of their way to ensure potential players know that they'll be in good hands should they choose to fork over the cash for the game, as well as for the inevitable DLC later on. There are many reasons to be hyped for Street Fighter 6, but we've got five in particular that we're especially excited to see coming. Take a quick moment to like and subscribe, and now let's jump in with reason number one, a strong starting roster. Starting rosters are massively important for fighting games as they tend to be a major part of or even the sole reason a player picks up a given title. You need to give fans what they expect. You need to give fans a sprinkling of what they don't expect. And it all needs to look good. Street Fighter VI offers a wealth of playstyle options and approaches for players via an 18 character base roster. Capcom is using their Reach for the Moon engine to offer more realistic appearances for their Street Fighter characters than ever before, and we have to say, it all looks gorgeous. 18 is a decent number to kick things off with, especially with more fighters coming later on as DLC. Six of these characters are brand new to the franchise, while 10 return from the tried and true Street Fighter 2. Non-negotiables like Ryu, Chun-Li, and Ken look better than ever, while newcomers like Jamie, Manon, and Marissa appear to be fun evolutions into the future. This sets SF6 up with a great foundation and tradition, along with plenty of potential to venture into new and unknown territories. Whether you've got a more offensive or defensive bent, prefer playing footsies or throwing fireballs, or specialize in combos versus command grabs, Street Fighter VI probably has a character that'll fit your personal style. We have an entire video that goes more in depth on each fighter so as to help you pick the best one for you, and you'll find a link to it in the description below. Reason number two, easier controls for newer players. Fighting games have long been known to be relatively difficult to get into for newcomers as executing various motion and charge inputs during the heat of battle can be hard to do consistently. Street Fighter VI offers not one, not two, but three styles of controls to ensure that everyone from Street Fighter pros to those who've never touched a video game in their life can feel an enticing sense of control when they play. Classic controls allow for the most freedom as players will need to use the traditional six button layout with quarter circle and sure you can type inputs to pull off maneuvers. Next up are modern controls, which get rid of complex inputs and allow special moves like fireballs and uppercuts to be performed with more simple button presses such as forward and punch. In addition to this, players can mash the same button over and over to pull off combos and get a taste of what doling out the big damage feels like without having to spend time in the training room. Finally, dynamic controls offer fun for those who don't know the first thing about fighting games. With this layout, you'll only need to worry about pressing one of three buttons, and your character will resort to performing the best action based on how far away they are from their opponent. Whether you're practicing for EVO or playing at a party, these options should make for a very accessible game that encourages players to jump in and stick around. Reason number three, multiple modes for all kinds of potential players. Capcom has a lot to prove in this department after Street Fighter V's bare bones launch, and it looks like they're going to be ready to turn things around with Street Fighter VI. First off, you'll be able to participate in all the head-to-head -head fighting you want through Fighting Ground. Here you can access Versus as well as Online, Casual, and Ranked modes, the latter of which will track your progress as you obtain League Points and level individual characters up through various ranks. Fighting Ground also houses the most expansive training mode we've seen in a Street Fighter game yet, offering everything from real-time frame data to training dummies that help teach specific lessons, such as how to deal with drive impact and practice parries. On top of all that, Street Fighter VI adds Extreme Battle, a mode wherein players will have special gimmicks to attend to while fighting. Said gimmicks include the likes of a floor that electrifies every so often, ticking time bombs that must be bounced back and forth between characters, and hazards such as charging bulls that must be avoided during battle. Instead of simply emptying life bars here, you can alter win conditions to require a certain number of knockdowns, achieving a certain score, or playing health bar tug of war. You don't access all this awesome content by simply navigating menus anymore either, as Battle Hub is Street Fighter VI's lobby system for players to interface with each other online. Here you'll construct your own avatar and join a massive party lobby where you can sit down at an arcade cabinet to challenge foes in the aforementioned modes. Online tournaments can also be set up in Battle Hub, and those who want a little break from all the competition can retreat to the Battle Hub Game Center where they can play older Capcom titles like Final Fight and Mega Man. 
Finally, Street Fighter VI's main single player mode replaces traditional arcade ladders with a sandbox style open world adventure that is World Tour mode. Here players will take their personalized avatars throughout areas in the Street Fighter universe to face a number of trials and challenges. You'll come across opportunities to prove yourself in street fights, meet and learn from legendary street fighters, forge bonds with them, and improve your abilities through a handful of new mini-games that teach you important lessons and inputs and timings that you'll use during fights. It's safe to say that SF6 looks to be launching as a very complete game with options of approach for just about every kind of player. Reason number four, an intriguing battle system. It's no easy feat trying to make a diverse roster of characters feel acceptably balanced, but this is a formula Street Fighter has been trying to perfect as a franchise for some three and a half decades now. That much research has produced the Drive System, a series of global mechanics that aid all characters with offense, defense, and maneuverability. The Drive System incorporates the more successful parts of previously used mechanics such as Street Fighter 3's Universal Parry and Street Fighter 4's Focus Attack. Maneuvers like Drive Parry and Drive Reversal offer defensive options while Drive Rush and Overdrive allow for more offensive momentum. The final component, Drive Impact, has both offensive and defensive qualities, making for a potentially very well-rounded set of global tools for the cast. The hope here is that Street Fighter VI will create an environment where players feel as though they can always have at least one option to combat strategies that are getting the best of them, and thus garner a sense of ongoing control, palatable balance, and most importantly, fun. We'll have to see how things shake out once the full game drops, but what we've experienced with the drive system in the closed betas thus far was both very promising and very fun. Finally, reason number five, an awesome online experience. Online play has grown from a fun addition to a core component of the Street Fighter experience, and developers have learned to prioritize strong rollback netcode and cross-console compatibility in recent years. For a long while, general perception of online play was something along the lines of fun, but not serious due to the fact that things like reaction times and combo consistency could so easily be hampered by the smallest lag hiccup. We'll have to see how things play out once the game officially drops and servers are open to the public, but what we saw on the closed betas was exceptionally smooth and much closer to offline play than anything we've seen in any Street Fighter title to date. With the game being available across two console generations for both PlayStation and Xbox, as well as on PC, more players than ever should be able to get the full Street Fighter experience from the comfort of home without frustrating lag spikes or extended wait times. And those are five of the biggest reasons we're excited for Street Fighter VI as Capcom has been shaping this title up to fill tons of gaps left by previous fighting game entries and check tons of boxes fans have been asking for for some time now. We'd love to hear what you're looking forward to most in SF6 in the comments below. And if you'd like a more in-depth look at what held Street Fighter V back from being fun, be sure to check this video out right here. I've been John Velociraptor Guerrero for Event Hubs. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.